going on everybody my name is Kenny tonight and this is tonight dimension can you tell this wasn't my first take <laughs> anyways welcome to the video guys first off I want to say thank you for anybody who has supported the live streams recently I haven't uploaded a video in a pretty long time since maybe my 5x salvia divinorum live video which was intense and I don't think I'm ever gonna do salvia divinorum uh, ever again at least the smoked version but um, besides that most of the content on my channel has been live streaming and I don't know if you guys have seen any of the live streams but if you had I appreciate it so much thank you guys for the constant support if not that's gonna be something I'm gonna set up a schedule on uh, in the near future so you guys look out for that and I'd love to have you guys in the live stream we built up a pretty good group of people a pretty good community so very welcoming if you guys want to come in and share any stories trip reports or anything like that and we're working on getting this discord together so if you guys want to join the discord I'll put a link in the description below besides that let me get into uh, this experience so I started off with a lemon tech of 3.2 grams which some of you know uh, most of you should know if you guys don't know lemon teching is basically taking your dried mushrooms or your mushrooms and putting them in a lemon uh, juice and letting it just sit there for about 20 minutes stirring about every five minutes and basically what this does is in my eyes is it does the chemical breakdown from psilocybin to psilocin which is the natural breakdown that happens in the stomach it happens inside of you already and that may be where some of the uh, parts of the nausea come in so a lot of people have said lemon tacking helps them with their nausea um, so the lemon tech kind of makes it kick in quicker and um, in my eyes I've seen it kick in quicker be a little bit more intense but not last as long so I knew that at 850 is when I took it at about 930 that I was gonna be feeling pretty significant effects I should be feeling pretty good effects at 925 I was outside out here just uh, on the by the table just sitting in one of the chairs just looking out at everything and there was a party going on two houses down I don't know if you guys know but the World Series is going on and it was game five and they had a party going on so I heard all the music people yelling you know people cheering and obviously people were probably drinking alcohol and having a good time but I was like wow like all I wanted to do was look at the stars and just enjoy the stars and see what would happen and I don't really want to do that with all the noise going on you know and all the lights and everything like that so I was like man I'll just sit here and see I'm feeling it and everything's coming up and then uh, my girlfriend's younger sister got home and uh, she went into the kitchen and I was like you know what maybe I should just go in darkness you know because that was like the only place I could escape to to get silence you know or just get an, a peace of mind and that was in this shed right here so I came into this place and uh, I can show you guys for a second actually but um, down there is actually where I laid down so I, I put up two blankets down there and uh, I laid down and um, before I did obviously I took I took two hits from the bong let me try to refocus this yeah I took two hits from the bong good hits and uh, really just to uplift or you know push in accelerate the experience so I laid down and about 10 days ago I had taken three grams of mushrooms and nothing happened so I was very disappointed and kind of like not looking forward to that happening again during this experience so right in the beginning when I started to feel things coming up it was very enjoyable and very um, I was looking forward to it because I was knowing this is gonna be a good experience in that at that moment I laid down I got super relaxed and I got so deep into thought that I don't even know how to explain it to you guys but I stopped breathing and I don't know how long I stopped breathing for I, I, I can't even recall I, I can't even recollect the amount of time that passed where I didn't feel like I was breathing at all and in the moment of noticing that I gasped for breath like it was just this peaceful nothing was going on like there's just this peaceful being was just happening within me and then I noticed that I wasn't that I hadn't took taken a breath in however long it was and I remember going <gasps> and I jumped up down about here I got into a meditative state you know a meditative pose and I just <sighs> just 
just so in the breath, so focused on the breath. And it was just this, this wave of euphoria came over me. And in that moment, the same spiritual beings that they're like children, they're like young children. And, and they were, they came and they approached me and it was the same spirit beings that I've seen on a three gram trip before and five gram trip. You know, they were like just these children, like innocent beings that were just filled with love and, 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 and it was just incredible. They were all there. I could see them behind my eyelids, just, just coming around and just looking at me in every direction. I, I looked, there were just, there were, the, they were everywhere all, all over. And it was just beautiful. It was a glimpse. They touched me for a moment and then they left, you know, and I, and I knew in my heart that if I would take five grams or six grams or seven grams, those are the things that I'm communicating with. That's the stuff that I'm going into to communicate with in the long run. The three grams gave me a glimpse of this and the glimpse, the moment, it was maybe 60 seconds. It, it was a touch. They touched me and that was enough for the next 30 minutes to me to be down on the ground crying and laughing and smiling so happy because the awareness of an intelligence on the other side, you know, the awareness of an intelligence that comes into your consciousness, into your realm of being is a very incredible thing in my opinion, because I've done many things, many practices, and I've taken many, many things, you know, acid, you know, is, is, is my example where you compare it to acid and acid has never touched close to the conversation or the presence of a life form, an entity that that's there. And um, once that happened, it was just really beautiful. At that point, it was successful to me. And everything after that was just was just in the moment stuff. And so I laid down and started thinking about being alive and, and everything in that way, my family and the people in my life who really mattered. And it was like a replay of, of my history had happened in my brain of the last four or five years where I've been drinking a lot of alcohol and a lot of stuff stuff has happened. And even with COVID happening and coming and everything happening and a lot of us losing our jobs and getting into bad situations, everything happened so fucking fast. And then we, we, we kind of don't have time to even look back. We're, we're moving so forward. This was my moment to look back. And it allowed me to really look back and analyze my being and myself in the previous years. And it was beautiful. It made me aware of the things that I need to do. Like I need to go back to the property I was living on and I need to contact those people. I need to see those dogs that I loved. I need to call my brother. You know what I mean? I need to be a part of, of the, the live streams and the YouTube because I love you guys so much and I need to be a part of this stuff. And I, I need to keep sharing stories and putting this information out there. All of this stuff was popping into my head about things that I needed to do. The mushroom was showing me what I needed to do, things that I needed to do to focus on my music, to do it for the right reasons, to inspire other artists. All of those things were on that list, you know, but mostly the thing that kept reoccurring was fuck possessions, fuck materials. All of that stuff is outside of our experience. What really matters is people. That's what really matters is people. The people around us is the thing that really matters. And that's the substance. That's the weight in the world. And that's why a lot of people can go through very unhealthy relationships and push through is because love is a motherfucker. And, and people, we, we, we just, people are the trip. People are the experience. I mean, people build up whole entire enterprises of experience based off of what they think of other people. You know what I mean? And so all this stuff was popping into my head to cherish the relationships I have with others and everything like that. And it was just absolutely beautiful. I was able to see moments. And this is what I want to talk to you guys about. I know I didn't really get into it in here. So if you guys are still in, I really appreciate it. The darkness. The darkness is the thing that we have to face. We have to face the darkness. And that's really 
in cliche terms what silent darkness five grams of si uh, in, in silent darkness is all about it's about facing the darkness facing your demons facing your fears facing all of those things that you're hiding behind you know that we're we're using other addictions whether it's drinking alcohol or television movies other people we're addicted to things to um to fill a void or to heal ourselves from traumatic experiences instead of addressing the things that are actually uh, still in the dark, you know, that we're putting in the darkness and not addressing, not analyzing. That's what's so important about this the mushroom experience in darkness. Because I realized silence wasn't even that important. Silence is almost a uh, a limiting factor because what is complete silence anyway can you even really get to complete silence you know and what you'll notice is once you're into the deep deep corners of that experience the mushroom will turn the noise down that's what I realized is that the the mushroom experience the stuff going on in your head starts to become so prominent and so in front of you that the music going on to two houses down and the air conditioner outside it didn't even bother me i didn't even hear it because what was going on was so important it ha had so much substance so much weight you know so the silence wasn't even a requirement but darkness going into complete darkness by yourself and facing the darkness allowing all of those deep deep uh, corners of your consciousness and your psyche that you have left and that you've put them and you put locks on and and close the door on that's what opens up in the darkness and that is essentially the thing that we need to face in order to grow and to become better versions of ourself we need to remember the things that have made us who we are instead of neglecting that stuff instead of pushing that stuff away instead of resenting that stuff and medicating ourselves and numbing ourselves in order to not face the darkness and that to me was the main thing that i got from it darkness is the way that's what i got like taking mushrooms and here's another thing i was talking about i was talking to lakin about this my girlfriend that like it's one thing, you know, cause she was like, oh, I want to go to an ayahuasca retreat. I would love to go to like a shaman and, and go to an actual thing and actually take mushrooms around a whole entire like ritual and, and, and thing like that. And I'm, you know, I explained to her that it's what, like, that's nice. That's good. But it's one thing to say, oh, I, I had a conversation with God when the shaman was waving the leaf on me and he was blowing the water on my face and the chanting was going on and they were playing the drums and everything was so beautiful. We were in the middle of a rainforest or in a forest. It's like everything was so amazing. The energy was so high and I had this conversation with God. You know, like that's one thing. That's one thing to have that happen. But to be like, I literally sat in a shed in my backyard and in an hour in silent darkness I had a conversation with God you know what I mean that to me is the test that to me is the test of experience is it it's one thing for you to go out to a retreat and experience that way but it's a whole nother deal to experience that stuff in your own home you know in complete darkness with no external energies whatsoever that to me is the magic and that to me is the challenge and ultimately i think that's what what mckenna meant by silent darkness being important it's really about the darkness facing the darkness so uh, enough on that basically after that guys i came and i relaxed i i smoked some weed i drank some water and i sat outside with my girlfriend and i looked at the stars and i was so excited for the future i'm so excited for the future I'm so happy for what the future has to bring, not only just myself, for all of us here on earth and beyond the physical. When we die and we transcend the body, it's gonna be such an incredible ride. We think that life is a good ride, it is, don't get me wrong, this is the greatest ride we've ever seen so far, but death is going to be the ultimate experience. And that's what I mean by the future is bright. 
Keep your heads up, guys. Keep pushing forward. Follow your dreams. Follow your passions. Follow your intuition, your instincts. Follow your heart and your brain, the things that make you feel good. Listen to how you feel. Listen to how you feel. Experience how you feel. Know when you don't feel good and know when you feel great and cling to, not really cling to those things, but go to those things and go all out and don't let anybody tell you. At the end of the day, nobody can tell you what your purpose is on this earth besides yourself. And that's, in my opinion, what the reason, one of the big reasons why we're here is to create our purpose, to find our purpose, and to live our dream. Because we are infinite spiritual energy, and we're meant for so much, and our potential is so large. It is beyond our own comprehension. So on that, I will end this video. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you stuck through the whole video, I really appreciate it. Uh, I want to hear about your guys' experiences, how you guys have been, how you guys have been feeling with everything that's going on in the world. And I can't wait to see you guys on the next live stream. I appreciate you guys. Dab on the haters. Much love. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.